Hello and welcome to this video. I hope you're already familiar with my best stock MIG 145 welding machine. It's so good in fact that even I can create impressive welds with it. Since I got it, it's become my go-to welder because it handles MIG, TIG and stick welding. Basically all in one. If you want to learn more about this welding machine, check this video right here. But this video isn't about a welding machine. Today, I'm excited to introduce you to another incredible Bestark product. Now, let me show you what that is. And so, here it is, fresh from the factory. The brand new 10th generation Bestark plasma cutter. Specifically, it's the BTC500DP model. Now, let's carefully unbox it. My first impressions are excellent. The packaging is solid and secure, so there's no need to worry about damage during transportation. I have to say, I will never get tired of this color. It's sleek and simple. The design is smart and minimal. On the back, you've got the power switch and a port to connect to your air compressor. I mentioned the air compressor this early in the video because this plasma cutter is designed to work only with an external air compressor so you'll definitely need one in order to get it working. A really nice display presents real-time information such as air pressure, voltage and current, which helps you keep track of the plasma cutter's performance, and it also really helps you optimize your workflow. But that's far from everything. You get a special mode for cutting wire mesh. On top of that, with 2T mode, you get semi-automatic control of the torch trigger, while 4T mode allows for continuous automatic operation, giving your hand a much needed break. Also, when there's a malfunction, an error code appears on the screen, which does simplify troubleshooting, such as right now when I don't have the external air compressor connected to the plasma cutter. That's a lot to take in, I should know. This is my first proper plasma cutter, so I am reviewing it as I am learning all about it. So you can imagine the expression on my face at the moment. But better to have all this than not. It's like with my best dark welding machine. I was overwhelmed with all the options at first, but I read the instructions and I got on top of it. Now, I can't use a welding machine without all the options the best dark has. Now, let's get back to the plasma cutter and check out the accessories it comes with. First, you get a hose that connects the machine to your air compressor, but more on that later. There's also a solid well-built clamp included, which helps keep you secured to your workpiece. Along with that, you also receive all the necessary plasma torch accessories to last you a very long time. And finally, there's the cutting torch itself. This one is of the Pilot Arc type, which is a big, no scrap that, a massive upgrade where compared to the one on the Parkside Plasma Cutter from this video. It allows for much better cuts because it starts the cuts easier and it does not get clogged up every two seconds. All that makes it far superior to the non-pilot arc torches, which are a lot more difficult to work with. Finally, you get this user manual, and I strongly recommend you give it a good read. This machine has a lot of features and a manual will guide you on how to make the most of them. Now, let's assemble this thing, find an air compressor, and see how it does. All right, let's get some testing underway. I've connected the plasma cutter to a small 24 liter air compressor, and hopefully that's enough to get a decent feel for how it performs. Let's start with this steel plate. One side is about five millimeters thick, and on the other side, I've welded two pieces together, making it roughly 10 millimeters thick. So first cut, five millimeter side, 40 amps. Even though this is a rusty piece of metal and with no real idea on how to set it up, I think it's working surprisingly well. Now, flipping the plate over to the 10mm side, I bumped it up to 50 amps just to be safe. And the result, an absolutely fantastic cut. The plasma cutter feels far more capable than I'm probably demonstrating here. And I'm sure that someone with more experience using these could confirm that. But honestly, I'm really impressed so far. And here's a close-up of the 10mm plate I just cut. If anyone watching this is experienced with plasma cutters, I'd really appreciate some feedback. How's my cutting speed? 
Am I moving too slowly or is the 24 liter air compressor just too small? I can hear it running constantly. So I'm wondering if upgrading to a 50 liter one might be a better option. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. And to anyone still watching, if you've made it this far into the video, chances are you're enjoying the content. So if you could give the video a like and consider subscribing to the channel, I'd really appreciate it. Now here are a couple more cuts on a 5mm steel plate at I believe 30 amps. And this gives me another opportunity to talk about why a Pilot Arc plasma torch is the way to go for this kind of work. Basically, with a Pilot Arc plasma torch, you get an arc that ignites without needing to touch the metal. It uses a small internal arc to jumpstart the main cutting arc, which makes it perfect for cutting through rusty, painted, or even uneven surfaces, just like the plate I'm working with here. In contrast, a non-pilot arc torch requires direct contact with the metal to ignite the arc. That can wear out your consumables really quickly and make it harder to start cuts cleanly, especially on dirty or coated materials. Whereas with a pilot arc plasma torch, you just pull the trigger and off you go. So in a nutshell, a pilot arc is smoother, quicker, and just makes the whole cutting process feel more professional and controlled. Once you've used one, just like me, it's really hard to go back to anything else. Just look at how rusty this 7mm metal plate is, and yet the best arc pilot arc slices through it without a single issue. But I get the feeling that I do need a bigger air compressor. This one's for you, best arc. The welder has been absolutely fantastic, and everyone who's borrowed it has had a hard time giving it back because they love it just as much as I do. And the plasma cutter, no exception. Incredible performance, truly outstanding work, Best Arc, and this heart's for you. Just so we're clear, yes, these machines were sent to me free of charge for testing and making these videos. But that's it. Best Arc does not pay me. There are no affiliate deals, and they don't script what I say. In fact, they've specifically asked for honest reviews, and that's exactly what you're watching. I don't have any affiliate links or commissions just direct links to their store so you can check them out for yourself if you're interested. And honestly, these machines are simply brilliant. And even while I'm recording this voiceover, the plasma cutter is actually out with a friend because, well, everyone wants to borrow my best art gear now. And that's the thing, people don't line up to borrow tools that don't work. But these, these are the kinds of machines that make people take notice. So then, final thoughts. Well, simply put, this plasma cutter is fantastic. With a maximum output of 50 amps, you can easily cut through a lot of material. Even one centimeter thick plates are no problem. I honestly believe it can handle even thicker materials without any trouble. In fact, I've linked a couple of other best art videos from other creators in this video's description that demonstrate just that. If I have one complaint, it's the included hose. As soon as I connect it to the air compressor, it expands a bit. So I'm planning to replace it with one that holds up better. Once again, five out of five stars, best arc. Great job. I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, a like, comment, and subscribing to the channel would be greatly appreciated.